We have had a lot of frustration and some tears this year with hybrid and remote learning. And I'm assuming that I'm not alone in that and you've probably felt it too. And some of this frustration happens because of missing work. And it's work that I know that my son has completed, but that the teacher on their end, it appears that it's still missing. So I've realized why sometimes this miscommunication might happen. And I wanted to share that with you in hopes that it can ease some of the frustration you might be feeling at home with your own child. So here I am in a teacher account and I can see all the students that are missing this particular assignment. But I'm the student and I know that I got this work done, but it's still saying missing on the teacher's end. So let's see why. If I go into the student account for the same assignment, I can see there are lots of pieces here. There was an online activity that I needed to do, a video for notes, and then an exit ticket. Well, let me click on this exit ticket first. And like I said, I've already responded, so I don't know why it's missing. But if I look here on the right hand side, I have this document and it said turned in. But again, I know that this document was completed. So let's click on it. A lot of times the document will have been done. As you can see, all the blanks are filled in here, but it has not been turned in. So the student or your child needs to actually turn in this work. So when they click the turn in, it says, do you want to turn, turn in this one attachment? And I do, I want to turn it in. You can see here that there used to be a black button that said turn in, and I could have turned it in there as well, but now that black button has disappeared and all that I have left is an unsubmit. So let's say I decided, oh no, I wanted to change some things. I can unsubmit it. So now if I go back to my teacher's side and I refresh this page, I can see now that Peyton has turned this in. So not pressing the turn in button was something that I realized that sometimes happened with my son, even when he did all the work. Um, something else that I realized was happening was with choice boards. So when teachers say, here are nine different things, choose two to do, my son was doing the two, but he didn't know how to turn that in. Um, so let me show you how you can help your own child turn in those choice board assignments. So I'm back in the teacher's Google Classroom and I see another assignment that's marked missing from my son, but my son swears up and down that he completed this assignment. So if we go back into the student's view of this assignment, and typically it might just have this title here, we want to click on the title and then not only just click on the slides, but just go to view assignment. I can see once again that it has not been turned in. But the trouble is even if I turned it in right now, it would still appear blank or incomplete for the teacher. So let's look as to why. I can see this is a Google slide and when I open it, it's actually a tic-tac-toe game where students have to complete three of the nine activities. So if I go ahead and put this in present mode, I'm gonna have this free space here. And then let's say the first one is a measurement activity. And if I click on it, it's actually a video that I need to watch. And then as I watch it, they're gonna be questions to answer. But what the direction says is that I need to take a screenshot of the final page. So if I play this video, and I get through all the questions at the end and I skip to the end, I would then need to take a screenshot to show my teacher that I made it all the way through the video. So if I go ahead and I'm gonna take a screenshot here, I've got my screenshot, but now what? I'm gonna go ahead and copy it because my teacher's not automatically gonna see this screenshot. So if I go back out and I exit out of this full screen, I'm gonna go back to the assignment itself and add or create. So I'm gonna to decide to create a Google Doc. And in this Google Doc, I'm gonna go ahead 
and I'm going to paste my screenshot in from my Ed Puzzle. So I've got that done. So I'm going to exit this out now. And now you can see where I've completed that part of the tic-tac-toe board. I'm now going to go back into my tic-tac-toe board and I see a timeline of the cell theory. So again, I'm going to put this in present mode, click on go. And here I have to make a copy. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to complete this activity, which is a timeline. And then once I'm done, I'm actually going to come up and copy the URL for this. And then I'm going to go back to my tic-tac-toe board. I'm going to add or create, and I'm going to send a link and I'm going to paste in that link to this slide presentation. Now I'm ready to turn in this assignment. Of course, I need to make sure I have all the attachments. And now when I go back to my teacher view, my teacher can see that it's been complete. And if she's to click on it, she can now see the documents that I attached and edited. So right here, when she clicks on it, she can see the screenshot and she can see the timeline that I created. Making sure work is turned in by clicking that black turn in button, as well as learning how to attach files to choice boards has really helped solve almost all of our missing work issues that we were having at the beginning of the year. And so hopefully this can help you and reduce some of that frustration you're feeling at home as a parent. But of course, if you're still feeling some anxiety, reach out to your child's school.